Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about that how we can reverse or decompile our Android application. Well, there are lots of tools which we can use in order to reverse or decompile any Android application. So the first tool is APK tool. So this APK tool is actually present inside our Centric operating system and with the help of APK tool, we can actually reverse or decompile any Android APK file. So the second tool is ZX decompiler. So with the help of ZX decompiler, we can actually reverse our Android application and you can download ZX from here from their official GitHub repository that is github.com slash skylot slash ZX slash releases. So we will use these two tools in our entire course in order to decompile or reverse any Android application. Now let's see how we can reverse one APK file by using these two tools. Now let's see how we can reverse and decompile any Android APK file. So you can see here that right now I am inside my Centugo VM operating system and on my desktop you can see that I have one APK file called as diva.apk. So first of all we will try to reverse that file or to decompile that file by using the first method and the first way is by using APK tool. So APK tool is already installed inside Centugo operating system and we can use this utility in order to decompile or reverse any Android package. So all we have to do is first of all we have to go to our desktop or the location on which our file is present and you can see here that right now I am on my desktop and here is the diva.apk file. So in order to reverse the file just write here APK tool and we have to pass one parameter that is D D means for the decompile and all we have to do is we just have to write down the APK name. Hit enter and you can see here that it has started decompiling the application and it's decoding all the source code and all we have to do is we just have to wait for a time being and you can see here that it's decompiling the manifest files and manifest packages, it's decompiling the resources. And you can see here that it has decompiled our application and if I do ls you will see here that a directory name as diva beta is being created. So let's go inside that directory and you will see here that it has listed out all the files and directories which are present inside that apk file. So these are the files which were present inside the diva dot apk file. So the first file is android manifest.xml. So if you remember that in the last video we have saw that if we extract any files from apk packages and then if we try to read the content of android manifest.xml file we were not be able to see anything. Why? Because at that time android manifest file was compiled. But now this time we have decompiled the application and now let's check that whether we can see the source code of this android manifest.xml file or not. Now let's try and you can see here that we are able to read out the source code of android manifest.xml file so you can see here that at the top it asking the permission from from the users the permission is write external storage read internal storage then internet and if i scroll down you can see here a list of activities which is present inside this application you can see intent filters and so on so this is how the android manifest file looks like and you can see here different directories like lib which contains libraries and there is also a directory called as original then there is a directory which contains resources and here is a directory which contains our source code that is smally so let's go there so the different decompilers or the different tools which we will use for decompiling the application the results varies which means some of them decompile the application into smally source code some of them decompile the application in java source code so we will see the variation so you can see here that right now we are inside the smally directory and if I do ls right now there are two directories so the here is our directory jacker so let's go there because our application source code is there it's a package name jacker.aseam.deva and you can see here a source code of all the activities but the thing to be noticed is that this source code is actually in smally so now let's try to look at the source code and you can see the entire source code.
So this is how we can decompile or reverse the application by using the APK tool. Now let's have a look at the, another way of decompiling and reversing the application. So as I told you earlier that there is one tool called as ZX that is Java to text decompiler. So we can use ZX in order to decompile or reverse any Android application. So you can download ZX from here from the from the GitHub that is github.com slash skylot slash ZX slash releases and the latest version of ZX is this that is version 0.6.1 so let me open this up and let me click over here let me scroll down and here is a zip file so let me copy the link let's go here to our desktop and now let's fetch this zip file And you can see here that we have downloaded this ZX zip file. So now, now let's unzip the content of this file. And I'm unzipping this file inside this directory called as ZX. Now let's go inside ZX and have a look. So you can see here that inside the ZX directory, here is one directory called as bin. So bin is a directory which contains executable file of ZX. So now let's go there and you will see here the various ZX executable file. So in this video, we'll use only this ZX file that is command line. But if you don't want to use the command line and you want to use a ZX compiler as GUI, so just execute this file. Well, in order to decompile the application by using ZX, what we have to do is we have to copy that APK file inside this bin directory so that we can use this ZX file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that deva.apk file inside this ZX bin directory so that we can decompile that file. So let me open another terminal. Now let's go here to our desktop. Now let's copy this file deva beta and it, we want to copy it inside ZX bin. So we have to be root Okay, nothing seems to be happen. Now let's try to completely move that file. Okay, so you will see here that right now we got our. Okay, it's a directory, so we don't need a directory. Let's do ls. We need this apk file. So diva beta dot apk, and we want to move it as inside jdx bin. And you will see here that we got our APK file. Now let me delete this directly, which we copied out by mistake. Now you can see here that inside the bin directory, we have an APK file and we have ZX executable file. So in order to use this ZX executable file, just write here dot followed by this forward slash and write down this ZX and here we have to pass one parameter that is hyphen D and we have to specify here directory name in which the decompile file will be stored. So that directory name let's give it as Deva and now let's write here APK name hit enter and you can see here that it has started decompiling the application and by using ZX one main thing which you will notice that the ZX will throw lots of errors. So we just have to simply ignore that errors. So you can see here that it started throwing errors, but we have to simply ignore those errors.
and you can see here that our application has been reversed by using ZX in this directory called as Deva. So now let's go inside that directory Deva and you will see here the same directories but there is a no lib directory and here is our Android manifest XML file which is same as we saw and you can see here that our package is present inside this directory called as Jakar then we have to go inside a scene and Deva and this is our package name and you can see here that we got our source code in Java files which means these source codes are actually a source code like some of them will be an intent filter some of them might be an activity source code so now let's try to analyze one of them and you can see here that this source code is actually in Java so this is how we can use ZX in order to decompile the application and especially if you want to read out the source code in Java and in this video we have seen that how we can decompile the application and reverse the application by using APK tool and ZX. So thanks for watching this video.